Good morning, it's Devara, it's In Story Live, and it's New Year's Day. It's January 1st, 2021, hooray! <laughs> I think a lot of people are very happy to be beginning a new year. And it's funny, I remember for a long time when I was little, 21 was my favorite number. I don't even think it had to do with like that you can do certain things, you can drink or go or anything like that when I was younger, but maybe it's because my mother's birthday was on the 21st of November, but either way, I was thinking I haven't had a year that was a 21, right? So I personally feel a sense of hopefulness. And I think a lot of us are making an effort to lift ourselves up into a place of light. And if you follow me, you know, one of the things I often say is lead with your light and lead in your lane. What does that mean to lead in your lane? And for me, that means where is my tribe? Where will I find people who resonate with what lights me up? One of the conversations I often have with women who are working towards bringing their soul story and their soul vision out in the world is, you know, they have this old messaging from their childhoods of people who don't appreciate what they do, what their creative gifts are. And I say, but now you get to find your tribe. And one of my big messages is if something moves you, something that you write or create or make or draw, or whatever it is, and it moves you, it will move your tribe. And we now get to bring our wisdom forward to our community of like-minded, energy aligned people as opposed to trying to bring in who people, to people who just don't get don't have a clue and <laughs> that's not our audience and it's a very big difference to bring your light out towards the people who are in harmony and resonance aligned with what lights you up so this is an encouraging place to emanate from I often say, where are you emanating from? Like, are you still spending all your energy making choices based on trying to do something for somebody else's, like somebody else's idea of what you should do? Like doing, you know, we've spent a lot of our lives trying to do things the right way or someone else's way. And my whole concept of the in-story way, my program is about finally doing it your way. What lights you up? And I have to say, you know, working with women over 50 just lights me up. And I like being over 50. I like, I'm 64 and I'm like, I like that. <laughs> There's so much possibility. So many things are opening up it, it, in, in terms of what my crowd has to offer. What us women over 50, we have so much light, so much wisdom, energy, brightness, and enthusiasm we have a lot to offer so I want to encourage you to feel that sense of the light of your being and lead with your light and tell your story that's gonna be the title of my next interview series coming up in March lead with your light and tell your story so why so you can create that health that wealth that joy and fulfillment that is really there for all of us and so I decided to come out and make this video in, in my backyard at 9 a.m. on New Year's Day. And I haven't been doing my daily 9 a.m. videos in this last chunk of time. And so I'm thinking about what do I want? How do I want to do my Facebook Lives in this coming year? If you have an opinion, you can tell me. <laughs> maybe once a week at a set time, maybe in my InStory World Facebook group, which is my big free group. So I'm curious you know, if you are somebody who follows me and enjoys my videos, what would you like me to do? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I've been doing random now, which is also one of my stylish things. I like doing things in the intuitive moment. So when I looked up and it was like 9 a.m., I thought, okay, I'm going outside. It's not raining, not that cold. <laughs> and I'm going to share a little of what lights me up and honestly when I share with you it makes me feel more lit up so I would love to know if you end up if you watch this video what lights you up what is a word a hope a dream a vision that's lighting you up so I don't know how many of you know this but we in my family we have a vision to move to Israel with our whole family and I have kind of a vision of this 
retreat space so that I can invite people to come to Israel when they want to. I'm going to still do all my online stuff. That's not going to change, which is what's so cool about the online world. But there's, you know, my heart and soul are very connected to Israel, which I just feel so excited about. And I want you to find that thing. What's calling you forward? What lights you up? And let's go towards it. So that is my inspiration to you. Let's find together what's calling you forward and follow it. I, I am so, I don't know, grateful, honored, inspired by the women I work with, the women in my In Story Way group. It takes so much courage to say we're going to put our visionary selves first. The world wants us to put our good girl self, so to speak, first. But I want you to put your visionary self first and lead with your light. So. Be inspired as this year begins. Beginnings are important. And uh, set, set something that lights up your soul. Feel what's calling you forward. Um, think of it about being on an illuminated path that's opening before you. So sending you blessings and love and inspiration. May this truly be a year of illumination. May it light up for all of us. May we see so much more light and joy and fulfillment and health and wealth and abundance, creativity, inspiration, all that good stuff. I would love to know how you're doing. Did you watch this video? What do you think about the new year for yourself? What's calling you forward and stay connected. And always, as I say, remember to go out in the world, share your story, Live your purpose and be a blessing. Bye, folks.